Hey, it's Harper from Play. Today, let's talk about SF symbol animations, which are new in version 110 of Play. So just a quick reminder, for any SF symbols, you're able to choose which SF symbol you'd like in your design. And we have over 5,000 different ones from Apple. You can also choose the size, the weight, scale, the rendering mode, which I'll link a video below, the color, and whether something has variable fill or is aligned to the baseline. So you can choose all of those in your design. But once you have each of your SF symbols styled, then you can go into interaction mode and we can add one of our two new SF symbol actions that will animate your SF symbol. So on this first SF symbol, this heart, I already have a tap trigger added and I'm gonna go down to this SF symbol category and I'll see both of our two new actions. So I'm gonna choose the set SF symbol action here. So we'll make sure that the target is the self here. We can choose which SF symbol is going to be replaced. So in this case, we'll do a filled heart. So now when we tap on this, it's going to heart it and like it. Then you can also choose if you wanted to have variable progress. This is only relevant if there's different layers within the SF symbol, which in this case there are not. So we can ignore this for now. And then you can choose to turn on replace animation or leave it off. So first, let me show you what it looks like when replace animation is not turned on. So it's not animating. So you can see I tap and it just changes SF symbol. But now when I have turned this on, you can choose to animate it in a couple different ways. So again, you can choose to do this layer by layer, but this SF symbol does not have any layers. So we'll ignore this for now. The direction is where things get fun. So I'm just gonna rapid fire show you all of these. So down up, when I do this, you can see the first SF symbol shrinks and then it comes back in with a replaced SF symbol. You can also do none and up. And now you can see it just scales up with a new one and up and up it's going to scale the old, the existing SF symbol is going to scale up and the new one is as well. So you can choose which one of these you like best. So now let's go to our other SF symbol I have on our page. We have an existing tap trigger and let's add that other SF symbol action, which is set symbol effect. So this is where you can get into some of the fun animations. So again, we're gonna choose the target. I'm gonna choose self again, but for both of these, you could choose to um, target a different SF symbol and not actually create this interaction on the SF symbol in question. Then you'll be able to choose your animation style. So there's several options here. We have appear, disappear, pulse, bounce, scale, and variable color. So let's walk through a couple of these. First, let's do disappear. So as the name suggests, when you tap and have a set symbol effect that disappears, it's going to cause whichever symbol you're targeting to disappear. And you can again change whether you want it to scale up to disappear or scale down to disappear. So now when I tap, you can see it scales out and it disappears. Next, let's try bounce. So with bounce, you can see there is still that direction property, but there's also several other properties here. So when I have by layer turned on, and I tap this, you can see it bounces one by one. So you can see the, the top layer is bouncing up first and shrinking in different sizes. If I turn this property off and tap this now, you can see every layer bounces at the same time. So it's just a personal style choice. Then you can also change the speed and the number of repetitions. So I could have this go four times really fast. Nice. I could also have it go a few times slower. So there's a lot of animation you can do there. Now I can also choose to have this repeat continuously forever. So instead of selecting any of these options, I can go all the way to the right side of the slider to continuous. And now it's going to just kind of do this bounce forever until I do another trigger someplace else or another interaction someplace else that causes this to stop. It's just gonna keep going forever. So this is really nice if you have a loading symbol or anything like that. Next, let's look at this variable color. Um, animation style. So there are several properties here that you can adjust. The first one is layer style. So you can choose if you want it to be cumulative or iterative. So when we say cumulative, when I tap on this, it's going to happen one by one. But if I say iterative, I want it to just do one at a time and it's not going to build on the other one. So you can see now it'll have each layer show up one at a time as opposed to cumulative, which has each layer show up in addition to the other layers. 
Next, we can choose to hide inactive layers or keep them on. So you can see right now we have hide inactive layers turned on. So when the SF symbol is in process of animating, you don't see anything below it. But if I turn this off and now play this, you can see it has a, um, a lower opacity version of that SF symbol below it that the higher opacity version is animating in one piece by piece. So this is something that you might see when your Wi-Fi is looking to connect with a particular network. You can also choose to reverse this. So this is like a ping pong interaction. So it'll go all the way fill and then it will unfill it as opposed to being fill, fill, fill. It's fill, unfill, fill, unfill. And again, you can change the speed here, make it go really fast, really slow, or choose a number of iterations you'd like it to repeat for. And that's SF symbol effects and set SF symbol actions in play. Thanks so much for watching this video.